All right, hopefully you guys know what this is about. Uh, so let me refresh your memory here. Uh, let's say you have uh, two windows and uh, you want to snap it, you know, one over here and um, one over here. It's not super perfect, but um, it works pretty uh, decent. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, unresize it, uh, just drag it down from the title and it resizes. Uh, same thing with here. And same thing if you do, um, you know, on the top here, maximize it and uh, unmaximize it like that, right? Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. Now, the first thing you need is uh, these packages here. So the first one you want is uh, WM Control. And uh, look for this package because uh, in the older Ubuntu's, that's the name of it. But in the Karmic here, uh, this is the name of it. Okay, the X11 Utils. So those are the two that you need. Now this um, snapping feature, you don't need Compass for this. So Meta City people, you st you can use this too. Okay, but it's a little bit different. Um, but I'll explain it. Uh, so first you need is um, you have to make uh, these three files. Okay, so make three uh, empty files. Uh, that one, the left, right, and top. Okay. And inside it, uh, you're going to paste these scripts in, which I'll provide for you uh, on the side somewhere. Alright, so that's all you got to do for that. And make sure you uh, set permissions for it on uh, each of them. Okay, so the top one, you go to right click on it, properties, and go to permissions. Allow executing, very important. That's all you got to really do for that one. And then, um, so this one is going to be uh, for compass first. So compass. Uh, go to CCSM here and go to uh, commands. All right, commands, and then we go in there. Basically, all you got to do is um, point it to the script that we, you just made. Okay, so I point it to the left, right, or top. Now you don't have to make uh, you know files and 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 all that like I just did. You can just paste the the scripts in here, um, and it'll still work. But the point I want to do is uh, this because it it goes with uh, Meta City also. Okay, so I'll explain both. So this one is for Compass right now. So we have uh, these three, one, two, and three. All right, uh, left, right, and top. So we know what it is. We don't do edge binding because that one uh, emulates more towards uh, the arrow snap. But you can do button binding, whatever it is you want. But edge binding is how it looks like. So I I bind it. Uh, you know. Uh, one, two, and three already. So let me uh, show you that. Let me clear this one. I'll show you one. So this one, click on it. And where do you want to bind it to? I would recommend is uh, these top three. Okay. So this one is the left. So we're gonna do the top there. Uh, so it, that's all you gotta do. Click OK, and uh, it'll bind it. And I do the same thing for the right and then the top also. So I only recommend doing the top three. You know, this one over here and this one over here that's it because uh, the other two here uh, this corners let me show you what it is these corners are activated by um, the desktop wall and that's a pretty useful feature you know how you slide uh, this over to another workspace right we still want that so that's why I don't recommend using uh, you know, the, the left and the right only the left top and, uh, and um, the right top so that being said, that's how we do that. And whenever you you drag it, you don't even have to drag it. You know, let me show you. It's it's kind of funky, but you don't really have to drag it. You focus on the window, wait for a minute, and it will do that. Same thing with this. You wait for a minute, and it'll do that. You see? So that's why um, there's glitches to that. So don't hover over it. <laughs> that's why I say is get out of the way. Uh, so let's let's go back here. We have to do this other one, okay? Because this one is a uh, uh, in general option here. You want to delay the edge uh, trigger um, because, like I said, if um, you know you accidentally go into this corner and it will just you know maximize it, and that's not what you want to do. So I would say uh, delay this, okay? Delay the edge binding by 400 or whatever number that you feel comfortable. Because, like I showed you before, if uh, you just Oh, accidentally just leave your mouse up here or oh, maximize it. You see how that goes? So that's not cool. <clears throat> um, so that's the part of the glitches right there. And basically, that's how you do it. Now you can just, um, you know, if you want to impress someone, you go up. I can do that. You know, I can do that. Right? Uh, so that's it for that.
Now, how about the Meta City? Okay, Meta City, you cannot use the the the, the edge binding. Okay, you have to use um, the shortcut keys. So that's what we're gonna be doing uh, next year. What, up, what the hell? So, <clears throat> open your um, keyboard shortcuts, and basically all you gotta do is add a new one. Click on Add, right? And inside it is um, we have what was that? The left here. So make a new one and uh, you know point it to the file that we made, like we did before. So I point to my arrow snap left here and bind the keys. That's it. You bind the keys to whatever it is you want. So I put super one here, super two, and uh super three is the top. Alright. See, same thing. And all you gotta do is hit your high key and it will work on uh, Meta C D. You so this one you don't you do not need comp bits at all. So let me show you that with the high keys also. It is basically the same thing. Um so this one is uh right left there you go that's the uh, meta city there uh, that's the only difference between the meta city and the comp is one uh, one is uh, with the keyboard and the other one is with the edge binding um, yeah the, the edge binding so that's it that's how you would do that and um, I'll post the original link to this because um, the guys there the they might fix it in the future or something like that and um, read up on it if you like it or you want to add something to it so that's it, uh, Aerosnap on Linux.